Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of area, specifically how we can find the area of a parallelogram by using the shape of the parallelogram and also using the formula. We will do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see here we have our standard parallelogram. It is a quadrilateral, that means it's got four sides, and it has two pairs of parallel sides. So you see that we have parallel two sets of parallel sides. We've got the top and the bottom, and then our two slanted sides here are parallel to each other. Now, this may look like it's overly complicated, but it's actually a very simple formula. And you're going to recognize it. Area equals length times width, which is the exact same formula that we use for a rectangle. Now, in case you think that we somehow messed up here, let's just take a look at what this parallelogram is. This parallelogram is a four-sided shape, just like a rectangle. And it has two sets of parallel sides, just like a rectangle, because a rectangle has two sets of parallel sides. The only difference here is that the rectangle has four square corners, whereas this is slanted. But if we were to take some scissors here and chop off this part of the parallelogram to give it some square corners right here. And if we rotate this over here, this little chunk, guess what? It would fit right there and it would create a rectangle. If you don't believe me, cut it out with a piece of paper, a parallelogram, chop off one side and see what happens when you take this side and you move it over here. It fits to make a perfect rectangle. So, that's why we can say the area of a parallelogram is going to be length times width, just like the area of a rectangle. Now let's see what that looks like in action. So if you are wanting to find the area of a parallelogram, you need two units, the length, which in this case would be six inches, multiplied by the height. But in this case, the height is not two inches. The two inches is the length of this slanted side, and I would need the two inches and the six inches if I wanted to find the perimeter, but that is not the height. The height is always straight up and down. So what you will see is that it is going to be a dotted line. It's going to be an imaginary line. So in this case, we're going to say it's 1.5 inches. So it's not one of the sides, but it is always going to be given to you if you need to find the area. It can be given inside, or it could also be given outside like this, and it would be shown with the same height of 1.5 inches. The only trick here is to remember that the slanted side, if given, that is not the height. You need straight up and down, which is perpendicular to the bottom side. So we can take our 6 and our 1.5, and then that's going to be just a basic multiplication. 6 times 1.5, the area is going to equal 9. Make sure we have inches squared. Now it's time for you to try. We have two different parallelograms here. Take a moment to pause the video, find the area of both, and when you have your answer, go ahead and unpause it and check your work. All right, let's look at this first one over here on the left. The only trick here is that it is... Uh, tilted, it's rotated about 90 degrees, so it's up and down rather than side to side. But besides that, it's not anything difficult here. Remember, we have area equals length times width. So in this case, we're going to take our length of 5 inches. We're going to multiply that by our height or our width, and that's going to be 1.5 inches. So 5 times 1.5, that is going to be, we've got... Let's see, 7.5, and please remember it is inches squared since we are looking at our unit of inches squared rather than inches because it's area. Now we have over here, we've got three different units. Remember, we do not need the length of the slanted side. We simply need the length of uh, the top, the straight side, the length, and also the width. Or in this case, it's going to be height. You could say length times height. You could say base times height. And in this case, we're looking at 10 times 2. That's going to be 20 centimeters squared.